Hello and welcome to a very special edition of JSA TV's Fast Forward. That's right, it's the ITW edition. I'm Dean Perrine. And I'm Keely Dorian coming to you from our virtual studio while our incredible team, including the fabulous Jamie Scott Kataya, is live on site at International Telecoms Week and crushing it, I might say, already in Washington, D.C. That's absolutely right. Now, Keely, um, I don't know about you. I'm a little jealous. I'm having maybe a little bit of FOMO right now sitting in the virtual offices here in Northwest Indiana. But um, but yeah, I understand from talking to the team earlier today that ITW is buzzing with energy as it normally is and that the on-site team is right in the middle of all of that excitement. In fact, they conducted 16 executive interviews already today, uh, just this morning, actually, um, from the exhibit hall. So lots of really cool things going on over at ITW today. Yeah, just as lonely, Dean, by the way, <laughs> Central Oklahoma. But, you know, they need us back home. Like, we're back home support. You That's know, right. We're, That's we're right. helping them succeed. So we're still part of the team is how I like to look at it. Right? Part, part, of, part of the team just not having any of the fun. No, uh, <laughs> but we're also sleeping. I happen to know those events and you do too. And when you're there, it's... It's late nights and early mornings, and that can wear on you, my friend. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, but lots of hot topics out there for today, um, including AI, sustainability. You can't go 10 seconds without hearing buzzwords <laughs> like that. They are definitely dominating the conversation. You can be sure to catch out all of those interviews if you've missed anything. They are streaming now on our YouTube. And then don't forget, you can watch all of day two and day three. Just go over to our LinkedIn. You can see all of those live as they are happening. Yeah, yeah. So uh, lots of things. <laughs> I, I, I know that Jamie would love to be a part of this segment in the special edition of Fast Forward. And that is the green and giving back, the sustainability and social good section. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. Uh, some major headlines kicking off at ITW. First up, <laughs> JSA, that's us, um, has announced the author lineup for our Greener Data Volume 3. That's right. The authors for Greener Data Volume 3 have been announced. The next volume is set to deb debut Earth Day 2026, and the authors will be celebrated tomorrow at ITW during the Greener data exchange event another event that we're going to miss keely <laughs> you know now, now you're making me feel bad for you. <laughs> well, that's my job <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just get together tomorrow at that time we'll have a virtual toast it's definitely something to celebrate though greener data volume three yeah i know um, just a, a huge milestone for the greener data movement and you know just another reason yet again like we were saying just a moment ago, that sustainability continues to be front and center at ITW. But what a great place to do it with lots of industry leaders and forward thinkers really advancing that conversation. Absolutely, Keely. And um, I'm going to take you up on the, uh, the, the, the the event for two happening tomorrow <laughs> with the two of us. Uh, yes, I know. Um, and uh, something else we love to see with, uh, with some companies we really love to see as well. Um, happening tomorrow morning, it's time to lace up for a cause. The Telecom Sands Frontiers charity run kicks off tomorrow at 6.45 a.m., supported by PCCW Global and Console Connect. A great cause and great energy and a great reason to get out and train before you go to ITW. You, you see what I was talking about with those early mornings? Like, And then, <laughs> and then they're going to be out there all day. So great job to those of you who are going to get out and do that run. Keely, uh, haven't you done those runs before? Didn't you win a run or something I, like that? I have. I did one at PTC and it was, uh, it was a tough decision. But I thought if I was going to get up and run somewhere early in the morning, doing so on the beach in Hawaii, not yeah. a bad spot to do it. Also, I hear it's beautiful this time of year in D.C., so not a bad place to force yourself out of bed, right? For sure, for sure. That's right. And I got third, by the way. I can't, oh, third. I third. Is over brag. I got third. third you know, third. third is only the second loser. <laughs> I, learned, <laughs> I learned that from a Nike t-shirt back in the 90s. Oh, goodness. That sounds like the 90s mentality right there. It really does. It really does. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I digress. Go ahead. All right. Well, you know, speaking of giving back and, and getting out there for a good cause, the Highland Golf Tournament is coming back. It's the return of the seventh annual golf tournament that was announced 
this week as part of ITW. It's called Teeing Off for a Cause once again, and they will be using um, community to really drive that impact. The tournament yeah. takes place on Monday, September 22nd. Um, it's just a fun-filled, impactful event at the breathtaking, uh, it's a, I'm going to mispronounce <laughs> I'm just so glad I don't know. Metadontic National Golf Club. Golfers will know this place well. I'm Unfortunately, I'm a runner. I'm not a golfer, but it's a beautiful location in New Jersey. Yes, Meta de Conk National Golf Club in Jackson, New Jersey. Anyway, I'm <laughs> I'm going to get some nasty grams for that one. I apologize. To <laughs> People golfers. in New Jersey are going to get you for this. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, moving on. Breaking news and big moves. Let's go ahead and talk some uh, headlines if you want to. There, Keely. First up, Valor C3 Data Centers is breaking ground on what will be Idaho's most modern enterprise data center. That's right in the heart of Boise, Idaho, built for, as you might imagine, next generation AI and co-location. And on that note, speaking of evolution and much needed connectivity, Bandwidth IG is now officially Big Fiber. <sighs> Big Fiber. That, that's right. I know. I love, yep. I love that name. Big Fiber. Yeah. Uh, that that rebrand really underscores their commitment to building high capacity dark fiber networks that are powering AI and cloud applications much needed, I might say. For sure. And speaking of much needed and innovation and all that good stuff, CleanArc also made waves securing strategic investment from, I said, uh, uh, in innovation and all that good stuff, also money. We're going to need a little bit of that to make all this stuff happen. Secure, so CleanArc secured strategic investment from Townsend Group to fast track its hyperscale growth, while Archtop Fiber closed nearly $200 million in new capital to support its continued expansion. What I really love about the uh, the folks over there at Archtop is uh, they are really committed to expanding in those markets that uh, oftentimes are overlooked and things like that. So uh, kudos to uh, to both CleanArc and Archtop Fiber. Yes, congrats to them. And more breaking news today from Nova Infrastructure. They've announced a majority investment in dark points mm -hmm. for Edge Data Center provider. The capital infusion is aimed at platform growth and strategic M&A, positioning dark points, for, dark points for aggressive expansion, also in underserved markets. Yeah, I don't feel. I feel like it. There, it, it's not. It's not a uh, fast forward if we don't mention dark points. <laughs> They're all. They, they seemingly are always in the news. Um, but speaking. Okay, so this is kind of a cool thing. Uh, welcome aboard to Jack Backus. Jack is the newly appointed principal strategist at Provident Data Centers. It's a big step forward in advancing their strategic vision. Jack's been around a long time. Uh, he was at uh, LinkedIn. You might have heard of them before. Uh, prior to to coming to to Provident. Uh, so. So uh, they uh, a bit of a coup. They deepened their bench with uh, with Jack joining. So congratulations to my friend Jack. That's right. Congrats to Jack and the Provident team. Yeah. You you want to switch gears just a little bit? Yes, let's do that. <laughs> Thank you for that segue for me, Keely. I appreciate it very much. Innovation spotlight AI and infrastructure. There's no slowing the pace of innovation, and XKL is proving that. They have just unveiled their DAT100, a 10 aggregation solution that's redefining efficiency and performance. And Legrand, they are matching that momentum, I might say, offering next day fiber shipping to help fast track AI data center builds, because in this game, as we know, speed is everything. Speed is everything, Keely. That's how you got third place. You were you were the third fastest. <laughs> third fastest of the women. So I won't, I don't know how many men finished. You you were still you're yeah you're oh oh yeah well we don't we don't need to get into that but but yeah and 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 grade school like during the field days and stuff like that first was always the blue uh, red was second and then white was for third place so you were at least in the elementary school ri uh, ribbon category that's yeah right. yeah I, I was that's right okay. I was always pretty fast at those events by the way were you in in, in grade <laughs> school no Keely no, <laughs> no no I wasn't nor was I in the football team but I was in every play 
that there was to be had in, uh, yeah, well, thank you. Anyway, moving on, Onyx is making serious moves, launching its new wingspan platform, and Agentic, you might have heard of this this word, you're seeing a lot about it in the news, um, and Agentic AI solution for enterprise data modernization, plus they just picked up two 2025 Google Cloud Partner of the Year awards. So there's Onyx overachieving with uh, its Agentic AI solution and a couple of Google awards. Congratulations to our friends at Onyx. No white ribbons for them, my friend. No, nothing but blue blue ribbons for Onyx right now. That's right. Nothing but blue. All right. Lightpath, they are expanding AI infrastructure in Columbus. And T5 is helping a Chicago-based trading firm win really big with some liquid cool data centers tailor-made for AI-driven finance. Yeah, liquid cooling. Cooling's a big deal. And speaking of cooling, cooling innovation is also in the spotlight with OptiCool. OptiCool is pushing thermal boundaries while Airsys is equipping AI data centers to stay ahead of the curve. So lots of talk around cooling and directed chip and uh, water cooled and all that good stuff. And we're going to continue to beat that drum probably for the next five, six, maybe the next decade. All right. And we're... We're going to talk about it a lot. That's right. Yeah, we are. Air, a lot of big news or another big announcement, I should say, coming up later this week from Airsys. So, so oh, cool. Keely, tease a little here. news. A little, little teaser for you there. Yeah. Okay. So we've talked about AI. We've talked about some pretty cool announcements. Now let's um, congratulate a few more people. We have some people on the move and some industry recognitions here. We'll start with Segra. They have appointed Chad Sanglob as CEO and Lancium named a new chief development officer to support its rapid growth. Congratulations to them. Uh, uh, Vivacity, Vivacity, Vivacity uh, Infrastructure Group also promoted Jeff Sabatka to senior VP. So congratulations on all of these big career moves to our friends within the industry. Yes, and the Power 100 list is officially out today. The Capacity Power 100 list, uh, it's a very big deal to be on that list. Lots Mm -hmm. of industry movers and shakers on there. So congratulations to everyone who made it. And especially a big congratulations to Jennifer Holmes. She is the CEO of Lynx. You can keep an eye out for her JSA TV interview. It's coming up um, on day two or three at, at ITW. Very, very cool. Now, so on the Power 100 list, Keely, I would imagine you'd probably get in third place in the uh, the Power 100, which is still pretty good. Still in the ribbons. Why, thank you. I would take that. <laughs> I, I 100% disagree. There are lots of people doing amazing things in this industry. There, and they all yeah. are very deserving of that spot. But thank you, Dean. Right. They really are. And speaking of deserving, Dart Points again. Here we are. Also, a round of applause to our friends at Dart Points, who were shortlisted for the Data Cloud Global Edge Impact Award. So well earned for our friends over there at Dart Points. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, let's um let's keep this train rolling, shall we? Yeah. Let's, let's talk about some network growth, and there's lots more strategic shifts taking place out there in the marketplace. So let's talk yeah. about LSC extending its reach with high performance fiber to edged Phoenix. And breaking news today LSC okay. has announced a brand new 60 mile dark fiber route in fabulous Las Vegas. Yeah, nice. Right. Yeah. It's, it's one of the nation's fastest growing data center markets. And if you can believe it, this is their third new network build in less than a year. That's a lot of work right there. Before. Fast forward is just full of all, all of these overachievers today, right? Yeah. Cool. yeah I mean, we're blue ribbons all around. <laughs> blue ribbons for everyone. Everyone. Even me. I get a blue ribbon for being a uh, slow uh, theater person. And more breaking news, Segra, as we, you might have heard earlier, uh, lots of stuff going on there. Segra has announced major upgrades to its network infrastructure across the Mid-Atlantic and Southeast. The next-gen architecture will support automation, scalability, and the rising bandwidth needs of today's digital enterprises. And Cortec is pivoting from channel only to direct provider engagement They're offering white glove optical networking services for national and regional carriers that'll really broaden who they can reach out to and and a whole new segment of uh, people for them. 
Very cool to Cortec, our friends over there. Uh, speaking of friends, NetNumber joined the GSMA Open Gateway Initiative, furthering the push for secure global mobile communications. And just one last note on, on this set of news. If you have not seen it yet, don't forget to check out our latest Data Movers episode, A Digital mm -hmm. Infrastructure Guide to Working with Gen Z. It's packed with tips. It's pretty funny. If you're in a certain age group, maybe a little, you know, a little bit older than Gen Z, there's a, I'm not going to say there's some calling out, but <laughs> there are some ways that we can improve to better work with our Gen Z friends. It's pretty good. It's definitely worth a watch. Keely, you're uh never mind. I'm Gen X. I'll say that. You're you're probably you're, pr you're probably Gen. I'm I'm like a borderline millennial Gen Xer, so I'm like I'm in a really weird spot. Like I remember the days of uh -huh. having to call on the phone and I remember the days of no internet and then dial up internet, so I'm in a really interesting spot. But you you you've always had a microwave, right? Yes. See, I, I, I remember like my family's first microwave and uh, side note, when the microwave, not unlike 5G, when the microwaves came out, I remember vividly my mother saying, don't stand too close to it when you're heating up that hot dog because the radioactivity is up. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not lying. I swear to God. And I, I remember thinking, whoa, why would they bring this giant chunk of radioactivity in the house? My mom clearly didn't understand that, just like a lot of people don't understand 5G. I mean, I don't really necessarily understand uh, 5G necessarily, but um, I know that it's uh, probably not giving me a brain tumor, tumor probably. Anyway. You know what? Like I've heard that, and I also think that it's not doing any brain damage, so far as I know. But I still stand like a safe distance away from it, or like off to the side. I, it's like a weird thing that has just stuck from childhood. We're we're afraid of things we don't understand, Keely. That's right, we are, and we're afraid of change. Most, That's right. I don't us. like change. I don't want a microwave. So people tuning into this, not seeing Jamie, they're they're like, "Who's this? I don't like change." Yeah, <laughs> who's this person who's afraid of the microwave? <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, we capped it all off with microwaves. That wraps up yeah. this edition of the JSA TV News Desk, ITW version. But hey, we're just getting started. There is a lot more to come from ITW this week. Like we were saying earlier, you can go watch all of the interviews on YouTube, tune into our LinkedIn, lots more to come on day two and day three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outstanding. And hi to all of our friends at ITW. We miss you. Uh, but we will be back with more breaking headlines and executive insights all week long. Until then, I'm Dean Perrine. And I am Keely Dorian. Thank you for joining us here at JSA TV for the special Fast Forward Edition. This is your virtual front row seat to the future of digital infrastructure and all things ITW. That's right. And Keely, it was great to see you. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Blue ribbon to you. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Blue ribbon for me. And thank you, viewers. We'll see you next time. Until then, happy networking.